So, R is mostly used to gain insights from the data. We can either use graphical or analytical methods. So, to use R effectively, it is so important to have good working knowledge of the basic data types and data structures. So, in this section, we are going to describe standard types of data that can be found in R and also introduce key data structures that can be used to store these data types. So, those data structures such as vectors, matrices, and arrays, right? So, R provides us with four standard types of data. So, these four standard types of data being numeric values, where we're looking into things like integers or continuous values. We can also have character strings. We can also have logical values, which are true and false. And also, we can have complex numbers, where we can specify real and imaginary parts. So let us have a quick overview of how can we define these standard types of data using RStudio. So just a quick overview of examples of each of these data types as we can define them in R. We can have numeric, say uh, we have 4 plus 5. So let us comment this as numeric. So of course we're going to get 9. Uh, we can have um, character string. So this one is a character. So this is a character. And we can have a logical, of course. Say, for example, 4 greater than 5. So of course it's going to be false. So we can, if we have five um, less than 10, we're gonna have true. So if we were to define um, a complex number, specify this, so it have um, a real part, which is three plus four i. So that is how we can define um, complex data types. And we can also store these data types in a variable, for example, say, um, we have x being 4 plus 5. We can use mode function. So mode function allows us to, to see what is, um, what is the data type that is stored in a particular variable. So in this case, we have numeric. So let's also use mode. We say um, 3 plus 4 i. So in this case, we get complex. And let's say um, mode. Let's say mode um, 5 less than 10. So we can see that this is logical and also mode. So we say R is fun. So this is correct. So this is how we can specify the the mode of um, a particular data type. So this is how we can be able to see um, what is the data type that is stored in a particular variable. 